Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Staff Sergeant Avril Clater. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, and I've been playing with the band for eight and a half years now. Next up on the program, we're going to play some German music for you by the composer Richard Strauss, who was born in 1864 and died in 1949. And he was a composer of the late Romantic and early modern era. He was particularly noted for his operas and tone poems, the most famous being also Sprach Zarathustra, the opening section of which is well known today for its use in Stanley Kubrick's film 2001 A Space Odyssey. We'll be playing one of his tone poems for you. And a tone poem is a piece of music that features some extra musical program that provides a narrative or illustrative element. And this, this program may come from a poem or a story, a novel or a painting or some other source. And we'll be featuring this particular tone poem uses uh, a character, Till Eulenspiegel, who first appeared in a 15th century book. And he's since entered the realm of German folklore. So this poem was written in 1895, and it chronicles the misadventures of this German peasant folk hero. And we'll have two themes that represent Till, the first played by the horn, and then the clarinet. The horn theme is a lilting melody that reaches a peak, falls downward, and ends in three long, loud notes, each progressively lower. And then the clarinet theme is a crafty theme, suggesting a trickster doing what he does best. And the work will open with the once upon a time theme, and then you'll hear the solo horn with two repetitions of the first till theme. And then that theme is taken and passed around the quintet. And then you'll hear the clarinet theme next, suggesting Till's laughter as he plots his next prank. And then the music follows Till throughout the countryside as he rides a horse through the market, upsets the goods and wares, and he flirts with and chases the girls and mocks the serious academics. Then music suggesting a horse ride returns with the first theme restated all over the quintet when the climax abruptly changes to a funeral march. Till has been captured and sentenced to hang. The funeral march of the hangman begins with a dialogue with the desperate Till, played by the clarinet at this point, who tries to joke his way out of the predicament. Unfortunately, he has no effect on the stony executioner. Then after a moment of silence, the once upon a time thir theme heard at the beginning returns, suggesting that something like Till can never be destroyed, and the work ends with one last musical joke. So this is Till Eulenspiegel's Mary Frank.
and it works its way back around all the way to this very soft pastoral ending, just like it started out. So we hope you enjoy the world premiere performance of Anthony Plogue's Quintet. <laughs>
and uh, Gordon not at home. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 